Frontier dropped some news this week about an interim patch coming to Elite Dangerous 4.0 and Odyssey next week including details of some unexpected new features. In this video I'll go over everything we currently know and give some reminders on what to expect in the next couple of weeks. If you enjoy our videos please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe and ping that bell to see all our future content. You can also directly support us through Patreon, links to that and everything else you need are below. In this weeks regular FDev discovery scanner update that generally arrives at the start of each week the Cambridge developers posted news that what they were calling the interim patch now known as update 1402 is currently scheduled to arrive in the game on the 30th of January. As I speak these words that is next Monday. As things aren't yet finalised the discovery scanner post can't yet provide precise details on what the patch will include but it is known that a number of general fixes are planned to be deployed as well as what Frontier describe as stability improvements to the conflict zones. It's entirely likely that what FDev are referencing here are the issues that have plagued some AX conflict zones since update 14 was released. Most notably there have been problems with AXCZs not finishing or progressing regardless of how many kills commanders put in. If that is indeed what Frontier are addressing here then a fix to those should make a lot of those currently punching away at the Thargoid front line south of the bubble very happy indeed. Whilst the arrival of some stability fixes with update 1402 is not a surprise what is a surprise is the announcement of a couple of new, small but potentially significant new features planned to arrive with the update. With regard to new features the news drop from Frontier says the following quote ...more actions taken against Thargoids will further contribute to the pushback bar unquote. With the arrival of the Thargoid war the game went to some lengths to ensure that just about anyone playing the game could participate and contribute to the war effort if they chose to by extending anti Thargoid gameplay to include passenger evacuations and hauling missions and not just direct combat against the Thargoids themselves. The direct implication from this statement in the discovery scanner article appears to be that FDev will be further adding options to the list of missions that players can currently undertake to positively affect the progress bars seen in the systems affected by the war. Further the news drop goes on to list the following quote ...improvements made to the UI specifically giving commanders better guidance on how to impact the pushback bar unquote. One of the bigger issues for players attempting to engage in the war effort has been just what can they do and where to best make an impact. The game does currently give some instructions in the galaxy map on what actions you can take to move the progress bars but those instructions are somewhat nebulous and I'm curious to see if FDev plan to make that information much more specific and granular in nature. We've yet to see what the new UI change will add but overall it does seem that Frontier appear to be looking to better direct players to the action they can take in the war whilst simultaneously adding to those options. Frontier are planning to return to their regular livestream schedule this week on Thursday following the postponement last week so it's likely we may hear more during that livestream which by the way will feature a visit from developer Darren Halil who will be talking about all things Thargoid War. It's worth reiterating that following the successful and speedy completion of the hauling community goal launched last week it's expected that this Thursdays server recycle that's the 26th of January should see the arrival of the class 3 experimental weapon stabiliser into the game. Using one of these new modules will allow the addition of an extra experimental AX weapon over and above the current hard limit of 4. The class 5 version of the module is due to arrive on the 2nd of February and that unit will facilitate the addition of 2 extra weapons. How or if the modules can stack their abilities is currently unknown but when released they will be available for everyone to buy from the rescue megaships on the Thargoid front line regardless of whether you participated in the community goal 
or not. Will you be using the new stabilizer module and strapping more AX weapons to your ships? What gameplay additions would you like to see added to the Thargoid War and will you be tuning in to FDev's first livestream of the new year this Thursday? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.